who are the winners and who are the losers of the next Yu-Gi-Oh! format. Stay tuned to find out more. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the ban has just dropped not too long ago. It's been less than 24 hours, but I want to make this video to explore and discover what are the best decks in the next format. Yes, there were major changes that happened, but I think the tier list of what's what's to come won't change too much especially with dark and blast so in this video i'm here to explain a little bit more and give a bit of background to what the next powerful decks will be and why and we are on the road to a thousand subscribers can we do it before the end of the year let's find out and if that be said guys let's get into it and of course we are going to start with terra element you know the deck that didn't really get touched on the ban list obviously snow got banned for obvious reasons but snow wasn't the main integral part of the deck yes it allowed you to extend to a bistola dugares and the griffin the curious line but the telemann deck is still untouched however you got to think about the other cards that exist in the game blunder seemed to get stronger with red rebuke gone exorcist is still around and now it, what it means is we're gonna have to expect a lot of dimension shifters so i'm very curious if telemann is the top deck um what but what i do know is during the sprite and telemann format telemann was already the best deck so now with the issue stuff coming and the darkwing blast stuff coming I think it's a clear story of what's to come and what the best deck in the room is going to be for the next format. Moving on to Sprite. I can't believe Ronin Todding got hit this early. We do have a Link 2 coming in Darkwing Blast, which is amazing. Sending Nimble Angler, getting your board set up is pretty sick. However, we do still lose that Ronin Todding, which means we lose the Totally Negate. And that means our Sprite boards end on something that's not very scary, to be honest with you. Maybe going second is the way Sprite should be built, so you don't have to rely on the Toad engine but let's wait and see what the players figure out my head is turning towards sprite runic as the best variant but the evil twin variant is also really good i didn't really rely on the swap frog engine too much so i think that's where sprite is going to go and then third on the list is exorcist slash flunderies i put these in the same category because they kind of play the same style where they're very anti-meta with the d shifters the banishes and they just don't care about what the opponent does but in terms of getting the board set up and what they do as a turn one board, they're very tough to break through. Uh, and going second, they have a lot of tools to win. Cards like Dimension Shifter. But then Flandreus has his own special category. Because Red Ruby got banned, the trap card that lets you do extra normal summons can't be stopped. And what's more scary is the Harpy's Featherstorm is now unstoppable. So it's very scary to think about playing against Flandreus after siding and seeing that Featherstorm and not having anything to do. My hot take is I think Exorcist or Flandreus are going to win YCS Utrecht. I just think the decks haven't been touched and they're at full power and we all know how capable they are. Sometimes resolving one dimension shifter just passes the opponent's whole turn. Of course, I think you've all seen the Jesse Cotton meme uh, of him getting de-shifted. Fourth on the list is Runic slash Mystic Mind variants. So I put this in the category because Mystic Mind didn't get touched, which makes you think how people are going to continue playing around Mystic Mind with Fairy Toast Not Band, which hurts the extension to do the Epidemic Virus. On the other hand, you know, you do have the runic guys, which are really, really powerful. And again, didn't get touched either. Um, there are cards like Antispot to stop them. But overall, I think the runic strategy is going to be very special in a lot of decks. And even the pure variant might just be the way to go. And lastly is the Shatrila Kashitra deck. I don't know the full translation yet. And I'm putting these guys on the list because they're not far away. They're just about a month away. As soon as Darkwing Blast hits, this deck is going to make a big splash because of the anti-meta prowess they have. They are a mid-range style deck with big beaters. They banish stuff face down. They block your zones, which makes link plays awkward as well. And to top it all off, they can play D-Shifter. And, and you've seen the thumbnail, of course. You've seen D-Shifter on it. I truly think he is the winner of next format. And you're going to see a lot of him. And he will be the one-way ticket to stopping Terra Element. So that's been the main five decks that I think are going to be the winners of next format. Of course, let me know in the comments down below if you think any other one has a shot. I would love to say Scarecrow, but unfortunately with Hauke Band and Jet Synchron unavailable uh, because you can't bring them out of uh, Hauke Firebrax, it means our combo is much weaker. Other decks that come to mind are, of course, the Branded Variant. I'm curious what Theron can do, but I just don't think they're um, overpowered enough to fight against the other decks. They're kind of a fair deck when you compare it to the rest. Because we have Draco Slayer coming in Darkwing Blast, we have the Blackwing deck coming with uh, Steam the Cloak Unbanned. It makes you think what de what that deck's capable of with a non once per turn uh, token generation. But even still, you can't help but realize Dimension Shifters in the meta, DD Cross in the meta. And it's going to be very hard for graveyard decks to thrive. And for that reason alone, I do think Exorcist of Flanderies and probably Terrellman just because of how powerful and high the ceiling is. 
are going to be the best decks in the room and the winners of the next format. Hope you guys like the video. So this is just a short one talking about the ban list and what we can expect coming forward. I am working on a Scareclaw video, which I hope to publish soon, talking about the new build we can expect to see in the next format. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.